So now, let's look at the iPod Nano. This is the first generation Nano. It was a breakthrough, the first high capacity flash based music player. And it was a stunner when it first came out. The next generation, we took it to extruded aluminum. It's even better. The third generation, the fourth generation had an even taller screen on it. And the most recent generation, an even taller screen. Now, how do we make this better? The iPod Nano has been super popular. What can we do? Well, we'd like to make it smaller, and we'd like to make it better. Well, to make it smaller, there's only one way to do that, and that's to eliminate the click wheel. And there's only one way to eliminate the click wheel, which is to make it touch-based. And there's only one good way to make it touch-based, and that's multi-touch. And so that's what we've done. The new iPod Nano has multi-touch. And it's really small. It's very tiny, so you can hold it in your, just in your hand like this. It's amazing and super easy to use, and it's so small, we're able to put a clip on it too. So it's instantly wearable. So, multi-touch user interface, it's 46% smaller and 42% lighter. In other words, it's almost half as small and almost half as light as its predecessor. That doesn't happen too often. It's got a clip, so no more armbands when you want to use it for athletics. It's got volume buttons, hard volume buttons, voiceover, FM radio, Nike Plus, pedometer, all sorts of stuff like that. And it works in 29 different languages. So we're really excited about this. It's got 24-hour audio playback, 24-hour battery life. And so take a look. Take a look at some of the screens. So you've got a lot of different screens. You've got the home screen. As you flip through, you've got radio and photos and podcasts and settings, and then all different ways to access your music, songs, albums, composers, genres. You've got Nike Plus. You've got voice memos. And this is what it's like when you scroll through it. You can get these nice big letters to find out you know, where you are. That's what albums look like. It's great to see the album art. Here's some more. The first two are radio up there, the built-in FM radio. Got a clock. We've got a, one of our board of director members is going to clip it onto an armband as a watch. Uh, <laughs> photos, and again, the home screen. So this is what it looks like. Let me show you how it works. So I've got one right here. And this is an iPod Nano. All righty. And so let me just flick some of the screens here. Well, first of all, I can go right into music. I can just hit artist and go just right through like this. And let me go to, uh, oh, E. And I want to find Ella Fitzgerald, and I could just play a song. And again, here's the controls. I go to the next song, previous song. There's genius and shuffle, repeat. Real easy. And again, I can swipe right and go through, or I can just hold down any place, whoops, not there, and get right back to the home screen. So it's very, very easy to navigate around. Uh, let me show you some of the other screens here. So we've got. Again, radio, podcasts, and photos, all the different ways of listening to music, and all the other stuff I've got here. So let me say I want to, uh, I listen to albums a lot, and I want that on the home page. I can just push down and jiggle it and move it, just like I can with my other iOS devices. So now I have albums on the uh, front page. And again, I can just uh, scroll through here real easy. And. Uh, you know, go anywhere and play a song. Real easy to do.
Thank you. Um, OK, let's see. The last thing I want to show you was um, if we go home again, let's go to the home screen. Let's say I clip this on and I clip it on upside down. Well, I just take my two fingers and rotate it Woo! and change the screen like that. So maybe the last thing I'd like to do is just uh, show you some photos on this. And uh, let's go to. Uh, I know, I am upside down. Well, I live a lot of my life upside down. But anyway, you can just see what photos look like on it. They're really nice as well. Just flick between them here. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of the new iPod Touch. I mean, the new Nano comes in the same four colors the new Shuffle does plus two more, graphite, and we're doing a uh, product red version where some of the profits go to the global fund. And um, so we're really excited about these. They're really beautiful. And it's still amazing to hold this much music in your hand in such a small little thing. It, it's always amazing. This is the new iPod Nano. It sells for $149 in the 8 gig version. $179 in the 16 gig version.